Hi guys, welcome back to Karamea's Corner. Join me today for my favorite things 2020 recap. The last few years, I have been creating year-end video looking back at some of my favorite crafty items. 2020 has definitely been the most interesting and challenging year for all of us to say the least. But join me today, let's have a look back at some of my favorite crafty items and project shares and more. So you guys know that I love Daiso and I love using their double side tape. I use these circle dies as well for my photo mats and journal cards and also had fun learning how to use these colorful gelatos for stenciling and creating colorful backgrounds in my journals. Now another uh, item I enjoyed using this year uh, while making journals was this We Are Memory Keepers book binding tool. came really handy uh, for this year's projects and more recently I found this wonderful stash of stamps, clear stamps from Daiso for $1.50 each. I am excited um, to be sharing these with you guys in 2021 in my traveler's notebook layouts planning, and other crafty projects. Another item from Daiso was this makeup brush. And I know a lot of you guys that do some junk journaling have used this for stenciling. The glue dispenser is always a favorite <laughs> with the fine tip there. And then also recently from Ross, a painting knife set that I am looking forward to using for mixed media projects. And another item I enjoyed using this year were these girl stickers. So here is an example of how I use them in my postcard journaling series. It's a more minimalistic take to journaling and I love making these. I will make more of them in 2021. Now speaking of postcards, another project I had was um, using my postcard stash and creating journal cards. Here's a cute little window with a photo of my daughter, Emmy. And I was able to use a lot of my ephemera, washi tape, and scraps to create beautiful collages. I was able to print some pictures and also do some journaling. So I love this format. I will definitely go back and make more of these soon. In April, my mom celebrated her 75th birthday and I surprised her with this giant, I think it was an 8x8 pop-up card that she truly enjoyed. In May, I had the pleasure of joining a Julie Nutting doll stamp collaboration with Miss D, Terry, and all the wonderful hosts. This was super fun uh, to make and use again what you have in your stash. I also was lucky enough to win some of their prizes. This is one from Terry. And here's another one from uh, Audrey. So thank you, ladies. That was super fun. And then got happy mail, rack mail from Terry. I was so happy to include that in my Winnie the Pooh junk journal, which is so dear and very sentimental kind of value uh, type journal to me. I have this beautiful image that my mother sent to me that I've included in here. And here are some of the envelopes and handmade Winnie the Pooh cards Terry had sent in that rack mail. So I included that as well. And I've used this journal uh, to print out some older pictures of my kids in their younger days, kind of just looking back and uh, reminiscing. Here are some more cards that Terry made. Love it. And a cute little note from her that I included in that pocket. So 2020 was a lot of, uh, you know, reflecting. So I have my bird journal here that I use a lot of appreciation and gratitude for what we have and so I had several journals that I was working with and so here are some of them here's another journal that I love that I used on a daily basis um, just chronicling all of 2020 some so many challenges so, and you guys have kept me on my toes and kept me inspired Here's a junk journal and I had fun using April from Pink Out Birds um, journal prompts. So this was super fun to work on as well. And then I rediscovered my glue book. 
thanks to some crafty friends like Terry showing her glue book misdeed, I just went back and started working on these pages. I have a lot to go, but super happy to have discovered this. It's so therapeutic, especially in this uh, type of time. Also had fun unboxing some fun items for you guys, some subscription stationery items and discovering other new things, some grab bags. So that was super fun. If you guys remember those cow canvas um, pieces that uh, we got from Michaels, my daughter and I had fun doing some pop art and putting it in her room. So it's great to uh, finish that. And I also love creating this for Happy Mail for my dear snail mail friend Sandra. These artist trading coins using my um, Jane Davenport images here. Very simple, but I really love uh, the beauty that it held and then using again some of the paper from her collection. And then Sandra sent me some wonderful fall mail that I love and use to um, put my pictures with the kids during fall. We didn't get to go out much, but there were still some wonderful moments I was able to capture and put in there. And then I also enjoyed making these collage paper rolls and it was super fun again to use some scraps, some stickers that I had in my stash, super fun. And then in August, I decided I wanted to share more of my creations with you guys and open my small little Etsy shop and create these cute little journal sets and also a giveaway. And then now in December, we have this adorable, fun advent calendar that I made for my daughter Lil that she enjoyed. It was the 12 days of Christmas advent calendar and I just loved it and she loved it. It was nice to see her smile as she opened the boxes. And then we have now currently my December dailies, which will I am going to be sharing with you um, hopefully first of the year so that we can flip through and see all the completed pages. So this was a fun one that I uh, have been doing and making. And here we are at the end of the year. Again, I want to thank you guys all for all the support. I could have not done and gotten through 2020 without you guys. We made it. We did it and we got through it together so i hope you guys join me again in 2021 i'm hoping to bring you more fun hauls crafty project shares and let's inspire each other as always stay safe wishing you all a wonderful holiday season i'll see you next year bye